if I could sharpen a knife like that. I've done it a couple times, though, you know? Yeah. And usually we would use a fillet knife for this, but we are fresh out, so we're going to be using the same little cold steel. I just need a look or two. Get out of here. Yeah. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. And for the sake of a video, we're only going to be cutting up one of the fillets and one of the belly meats. Yeah. You know, so it ain't a crazy long video. Have you seen all the mud on this phone right here? Where we had it on the ramp down there. Let yeah. me tell you, this thing's got mud. It looks but like. But the we... camera part, I think, is clean. Yeah, right? I think it's clean. Yeah. With the fillet, this is what he cut off the side. We're going to cut the red part out of the middle, that little vein thing that goes down the middle, and then this whole back layer off. And you just have that white meat left. Yeah. And it's a whole lot easier, like I said, when it's cold. Yeah. Because the meat stiffer. is so flimsy right now. It, when it's cold, it sort of firms up a little bit, but it is super flimsy right now. So yeah. It just makes it a lot harder to cut, you know, Spongy. And he's, he is so fresh that he's still twitching. Like you can feel the meat. Yeah. <laughs> Where we want it. Yeah. Like it fresh. Fresh. Fresh, fresh. We need something. I'm hungry. Yeah, and we're starving. So that's why we went and caught it. That's why we spent, you know, we went yeah. to so much trouble to catch that fish. But see, that's just like a little... Bloodline. Yeah. People call it a bloodline anyway. Don't taste good, whatever it is. No. We don't eat that. Beautiful. And then we'll have like a little slop pile. All right, like I said, we'd usually do this with like a fillet knife. It's a little harder with a pocket knife, but we're working with what we got. And I'm just gonna fillet this off of that red part that's on the bottom. And you'll have the little white what? nugget piece left. Yeah. Ooh, seven minutes in the peanut oil with some Mm. Y'all just don't know. Yeah, everybody, you know, do those big fish still taste big? They do, but you got to put the extra effort into cleaning them. Yeah. And we've had people that don't like fish try some of ours and like them. The red off. I'll probably cut that up into smaller pieces. Mm, 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 mm. I smell that. Frying right now. Fix to get the grease hot. Yep. You're doing pretty good with that little old knife. Yeah, we're trying. I wish I had a dollar for every one of these things that we cleaned. I'm out. telling you, you have done a pile of those. Yeah, usually our little method or whatever is he cuts the fish up and like cuts the meat off yeah, the. Yeah, skin it and skin it and yeah. Yeah, Play and it bone out. it out, whatever you want to call it. And I do this part. And we'll have an assembly line going. And she's really good at it. She's better at it than I am. Because I did one another night, and uh, you a lot better at that part of it than I am. Meticulous. Just a bit. Meticulous. Mm -hmm. But you cut them up in the nuggets and get that grease about, I don't know, between 325 and 350. Yeah. Seven minutes. Take it out. There's so many that gum horse flies and mm. yeah so if you see her stop and swat she's so uh, i'm battling she's fighting and then this what you got left see there's not a lot of actual good meat left on this whole fatty lining whatever mm -hmm. i went one like right that. there but you ain't really wasting much meat when you're no. cutting it off that it's just that nasty yeah. part that you don't want to eat and then i'll take these pieces and clean it up a little bit and cut it into smaller pieces so do one of the things real quick because yeah. you, you we're we're trying not to make the video too long for y'all but y'all get the point we'll clean these up 
I'll do this other side of the fillet the same way I did that. But we're gonna cut a, a piece of belly meat and show y'all how that works real quick. And this is a big old nugget. That's a big old chunk of belly meat because it's a good sized fish. So I'm probably gonna cut it in half and make it a little easier. Make it a little easier on me at least and just like with the fillets we're gonna take both sides off the line in here that's like the stomach lining ain't it yeah well that's well, we're gonna take it off anyway this one's definitely gonna be harder to do without a fillet knife but we're gonna make it work we're just gonna cut that layer off the top here and usually with a fillet knife you can but working with a shorter knife makes it a little harder but this thing is sharp as heck, so that helps. Makes up for it. You know, you could about do it with the hat on, but you couldn't really see how deep to go, but that would work too. You could, I mean, yeah. you could do it, you could fillet, you could just fillet it. But same thing, you're not really wasting much meat. It's just that nasty part that you don't want to eat. I'll take that off both sides and then I'll fillet it off that stomach lining. Mm -hmm. Yes, and this is this is the best part of the flathead. Is that belly meat? How far? And you're left with. A nugget. And there's the lining right there that we're cutting off. Yeah. Did y'all get the idea? I'm going to finish up the rest of these. I'm going to cut this part off and then fillet it off the lining. Just did half of it so I could show y'all without it being such a long video. Yeah. So, yeah. We're out. about to get to cutting this stuff up so we'll have something to eat tonight because I'm hungry. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all.